Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Estric Biology. If you are new here then I'm Miss Estric and I've been teaching for over 10 years and I'm here to help you to get to grips with those most challenging topics in biology, in previous study skills techniques and help you to get the grades that you deserve. Now today's video is more looking at why would you want to study A-level biology or actually university level degree biology. So let's get into it. So I studied pure biology at university. I went to the University of Nottingham and I studied biology. The reason why? Well, first of all, I loved biology, still do. It was my favourite A-level and I didn't know what I wanted to do after university. So I simply picked the A-level I enjoyed the most and that I was good at. So that's why I went for biology and I have zero regrets. I absolutely loved my degree. And here's why. Studying biology, as I said, I loved the subject. So that part of it was great, but I loved the flexibility that it offered. In the first year, there were, I think, 12 modules, six of which everyone had to study because it covered like the foundations of biology. But the other six, there was a catalogue and you picked what you wanted to study. Now for me, because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to go into yet and I just knew I liked biology, I found that really good to be able to like try out different aspects of the course to see what I really enjoyed. And then when it came to second year, you had even more flexibility in what you could study. So again, there were some set modules that everyone had to do, but there was even more choice. And that meant I got to really tailor the course to cover the bits of biology that I liked the most. And of course I am being attacked by Bee as usual with her tail flicking in my face. Now as well as that, for me at Nottingham, I was able to do a biological imaging course, which was photography, videography, but with a biology theme. They also let me do a management course. You could do a language course. So you could pick different modules from outside of biology if you wanted a bit more of a broader range. So definitely University of Nottingham, fantastic for that. But let's get back to the original point. Where can biology take you? Well, biology is one of those degrees where it is really open where it can take you because it has so many transferable skills. It's actually one of the main degrees, along with geography, I believe, that has some of the highest levels of employment and also transferable skills. So what are some of those skills? Well, if you're studying biology, you have to be able to research. You have to be able to analyse data. You have to be able to critically analyse data and evaluate. You have to do public speaking, you'll have to do group work, you'll have to be able to write dissertations, write up lab reports, there'll be math skills involved, there'll be ICT skills involved, loads of different skills that employers will want. So where can biology take you with that set of skills? There are science-based routes, obviously, with it being a biology course, and that could be things like an academic researcher, it could be a microbiologist, a marine biologist, working in ecology, it could be working in nanotechnology, it could be more direct routes, it could be a research scientist, pharmacologist, working in labs in general on research, going into a particular disease field you might be interested in. It could be a genetic counsellor, it could be someone a bit like me currently, a science communicator, and so much more just within the science field. But if you get to the end of your biology course and none of those specific science related fields interest you, then there are other routes you could go down as well, which aren't pure science based. Now, I went into teaching, of course. Now, I am teaching biology, so I managed to get the best of both. I really wanted to go into teaching and I still loved biology, merged the two, and I love it. But before I actually decided on teaching, I did look at going more into the management and finance world. And in my final year, I applied for quite a few internships with big accountancy firms. And that's another route that you could go down. Because of your math skills that you develop in biology, your analytical skills, your teamwork, you can go down a business route instead. So management consultancy, accountancy, there's a whole range of those sorts of careers you could go into instead. If you like travel, you could get most of these jobs that I've talked about abroad as well. You could be a marine ecologist, but somewhere exciting, not just the UK, it could be somewhere more tropical. So there's really loads and loads of options. And you can check out websites like prospects.ac.uk to find out for any degree, what are some of the top jobs that people go into after they studied it. So there's loads of options out there. If you've got any questions, then put them in the chat box below. So where can biology take you? Pretty much most places that you want it to. Because of those transferable skills, it makes you highly employable in a whole range of careers. 
So if you love biology, I would highly recommend taking it at university level so you can tailor your course, develop these skills and keep your job options open, particularly if you're not sure what you want to do yet, which is probably a lot of people watching this. So I really hope you found that helpful today. If you want to find out lots more about this sort of thing or biology in particular or study skills, then make sure you click that subscribe button. I also do lots of things more frequently on Instagram and TikTok. But for now, I'll see you later.